Hey guys, welcome back. So in the last video, we have seen how to do a performance testing on the REST API. In this video, we will see how to do a performance testing on the SOAP UI. All right. So let me just uh, make it clear. All right. Now, first we have to find out uh, if there is any SOAP UI and we also have to install the SOAP UI, uh, you know, client on our computer just to make sure, just to test uh, some of the SOAP uh, based API onto that tool first like we did in Postman. All right. So if you want to install the SOAP UI, just go to Google and you can install the SOAP UI by calling install SOAP UI. All right. And then you can go to the website and for the SOAP UI website and you can install the SOAP UI here and just make it sure you are downloading a free version. You are not downloading a paid version. All right. Once the SOAP UI get installed, we have to get to some of the website which can give us, uh, you know, a SOAP UI API. So on the Google, I find one website in which I found the SOAP UI or a SOAP based API called Currency Converter. All right. So I can just give this in my descrip description section also. And this is a WSDL file path which actually contains all the information for this project for this currency converter all right so i will copy this wsdl file i can go to the soap ui now all right and here i can click on the soap link all right and the project name i can just give as demo i can type the wsdl file which i have copied and i will click on okay so basically this will also import my project of the soap okay so these all are the soap api which i can call let's try this api which is called get conversion rate so if i go to request in soap ui let's see what does it gives us okay taking some time so i have already gone through all these api ones so i know uh, you know what are the things which are needed but if you want you can just open these uh, uh, you know api from your side and if you can try in soap ui you can do that so it is asking me for to change the currency from into so in the from i can give usd usd and in the two currency i can give inr for indian rupees all right so i want to see what is the price of one usd dollar in the indian rupees okay and here i need to give a rate date on which it was updated okay so i don't know which date need to give but there is one more api which says get last updated date let's see what date i get here i'm just clicking on run because it does not need any parameters okay so i will just give the same date here in my parameter into my first request so i'm just copying this okay and in this request i can just give this timing and i run it again and let's see so it gives me 71.99 so that's mean one dollar is equal to 71.99 rupees and that's what i want to do with my jmeter all right so in the jmeter what i need to do first i need to do a right click and add thread which is the first thing which we do and then i need to do a right click add there's a config element here okay in which there is an element called http header manager all right so let me call it as soap so that i can know it's a header for soap and then i can give any header so as you know for api testing if i am giving a post condition i need to give a header like content type all right so here I will just type content type okay and uh, now I need to see if it's a soap call or it's a rest call for the soap call I need to give text oblique XML all right content type text equal to XML so I have given my headers all right now what I will do I will again go here and I will put a sampler called HTTP request. So here I need to give the HTTP request and I will call it as SOAP also. All right. Now here I need to give my website name. All right. So what I can do, uh, I can go here and this is the website name I can give up to this point. 
all right and I don't want to give this HTTP because it will come by default and here is a port number which I don't don't want to give for SOAP UI it's a post method so I need to select post I need to give a remaining path of my URL so that is a resource all right so I will give this resource URL here to here all right so this thing is done we have given everything now this body part is remaining and where we need to give this body part let me just copy that and into JMeter I will give this body part okay so I hope everything is done here is done 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 all right now what next so I need to see the results right so I need to add some samplers sorry I need to see the results so I will add listeners right so add and then there's a listener called view result tree and then again add listeners view result in table all right i have only one user one http header manager one http request and then results i'm not doing any assertion you can do it later on also if you want to do any assertion all right now let's try to run it No results found yet. Okay. So it seems okay here. Let's see. I've clicked on this button just to see the logs. Okay. So something is running. All right. So let me try it one more time. Uh, so let me first remove everything from here. Okay. I've cleared all my results. All right. So let's go ahead play result tree all right so you can see that my soap request has been successfully done okay and if I click on that and if you see all those things it says response body all right so this is the response body I am getting it so I am getting the value as expected it was it should be 71 point something which I am getting in my soap request so this is the way we have to make the SOAP request through JMeter and if I want to check the performance testing I can just go ahead into this SOAP request and here sorry in this thread group and here the number of threads is 1 let me increase to 10 so I want to hit this service at 10 times and the ramp up period let me give us as 5 and I want only one iteration to be done for this okay and uh, I can go ahead and I can run this let me just remove everything and now let's run it again and if you see the tree you can see that you know I am hitting this service 10 times all right and this is the timing which I am getting if I want I can put an assertion also so I will just go to this uh, thread group right click add and uh, I will put a assertion and there are many assertions given let me use the simplest one uh, let's use response assertion and now I can always you know place a response assertion and I can look for the response code equal to or contains I can click on add and it will be 200 so I have put the assertion also which is important for any test case okay so let me remove the results and let me try again all right let's see and let me close this log information I don't need that okay so if you see that you know it is working fine I'm getting the 200 as my result as a response code okay so if you see the response header I'm getting 200 for all my results so this is a way you can test your uh, SOAP APIs using JMeter and you can do the performance testing of your SOAP APIs into JMeter all right so thank you for watching this video if you like the video please hit on the like button have a nice day thank you